Hello, my name is Steve Smith from Siemens Technical Support. Today we're going to be working with the S7 1200 CPU and the totally integrated automation portal version 12. During the course of this presentation we are going to be creating a project using the TI portal. We're going to be deploying an unspecified S7 1200 CPU and we're going to allow the TI portal to detect the hardware for us. Once we've detected the hardware, we're going to change one or two of the CPU properties, then save, compile and download our project into the CPU. The result being that the CPU will go into run and we will then be ready for further programming. So let's get started. Once the TIA is open, we can create a new project. The project that we're going to do today is for a mixer. And the author is myself, Stephen Smith. And I also have the option to change the save path. If I'm finished, I create. A few seconds later, the project will be created and will be in portal view. I now go to device and networks and I want to add a new device. The device that I'm going to add is the Mixer CPU. So I'm going to call it Mixer CPU. I then click on controllers and I select the Somatic S7 1200 palette. I then expand and select an unspecified S7 1200. When I'm finished, I click Add. A few seconds later, the placeholder for the unspecified 1200 series CPU will appear. and I then have the option to either detect or use the hardware catalog. I'm going to use detect and I click on detect. When the detection is completed the white unspecified CPU will then be populated with the electronic modules and CPU. I'm going to make a few adjustments to the CPU by double clicking into the hardware configuration. First of all I need to assign an IP address so I go to Ethernet addresses and I'm going to assign 192.168.0.1 to this CPU. Also as well I'm going to enable the system and clock memory bytes. The system memory byte is useful because you have a bit for first scan, a bit for diagnostic status, an always true and an always false bit which are useful for programming. And also the clock memory bits as well. Uh, these can be used in your program as you require. Once ticked, I'm then going to highlight the CPU and compile the project. And now I'm going to download the modified hardware configuration into the CPU using the download button. A few seconds later the download dialog box appears, the load preview. So we're going to device configuration and software, we're going to load this. Final part is, do we want the CPU to be started? Yes we do. And we finish. The result being that the CPU, the hardware configuration has now been loaded, the CPU is in run and we are now ready to program. Thank you very much for your time.